what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. good. Today, guys, we're back. You're going to know the guys. I'm going to see you guys. My name is Deva. Welcome to the Perseverance, guys. So, they're going to be asking 14 things you should not do in Bali, Indonesia, guys. This is one of our first time giving us a try. Uh, just should watch out this video. We love Indonesia, so we want to be careful and know what we should do or what we should not do. Uh, this video just popped out, so I was like, let's give it a try and check it out with you guys. You know how it is? Let's get right right yeah. more. Let's get into this video. Bali, Indonesia is a true traveler's paradise. So many people come here and there are hundreds and thousands of blogs and vlogs about what you should do in Bali. But I'm here to tell you what you shouldn't do in Bali, Indonesia. Wow, this is beautiful weather. So beautiful. Wow, that view over there is amazing. It's amazing. If you know what not to do in Bali, Indonesia, this will make your life so much more easier. When I just arrived here nine months ago, I made so much mistakes, and I'm here to prevent you from making the same mistakes. So, love you. Gonna dive in, and let's start with number one. Yeah. Number Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. This is probably one of the most important ones because the Indonesian authorities take the use of drugs very, very seriously, as mm. it should. But if you are caught in drugs possession, you will face the full force of the law. If you were to be convicted of trafficking drugs, then you might not just be looking at a prison sentence, you could also be looking at a death penalty. So just don't do it, stay away from drugs. Wow. Number two is do not step on Kanang Sari. These are little offerings that local people bring to their gods. When stepping out, you will find these little packages of woven palm leaf, flowers and herbs everywhere, even on sidewalks and stairs. Stepping on one can be very offensive to a Balinese who witness your misstep. So just make sure you watch your steps and drive around it or walk around it so you don't step on it. Then number three is do not drive a bike if you're not good at it. The traffic in Bali is absolutely crazy. There are scooters, bicycles everywhere. It's super crowded. They have their own rules here in Bali. And if you are not an experienced driver, don't do it. Take lessons before you do it, but don't step on a bike if you don't have any experience. It's simply too dangerous and you will get in a car or bike accident. Oh. Number four is do not get mad when people honk at you. This is what happened to me in my first weeks here in Bali. I was super confused why people were honking at me the entire time. This simply means here like, hey, I'm coming or be careful. I'm coming on your left, I'm coming on your right. It's simply, it's a really kind gesture to do here. They're just saying that they're coming around you or they use it whenever they want to pass someone or if you are unsure if the people have seen you. It's just easy to honk at them. So it doesn't mean that they're angry at you or or you did something wrong it's oh. just a simple hey buddy here i am thank you thank you for Number sharing that is do not piss off the monkeys i've been in ubud in uluwatu and i've seen so many people piss off the monkeys and they got a bite from a monkey which is super dangerous oh. because you will get rabies and that's yeah. something you do not want to get so stay in your own lane don't provoke them also make sure you have your plastic water bottles in your bag because they love to grab it and bite it that's how they attack you so just be careful because rabies is something you don't want to get Number six is do not contribute to the litter problem. There is so much trash here in Bali and it's still a small island. They haven't figured it out completely what to do with the trash. And as you can see, there is lots of trash on the beach and just be very aware of the trash problem that's going on in Bali. So always put your trash into the trash bin and just simply don't throw it on the streets or into nature because that's the worst thing you can do here. Number seven is something that I see happening all the time and number seven is don't be the 
disrespectful. The Balinese people are very sweet and helpful. Unfortunately, this kindness is often mistaken for weakness, which makes tourists think that they're better than the local people and they treat the local people awful. So make sure you don't do this. They are so kind and so sweet and you have to be the same. Number eight is don't barter too much. I know it can be very tempting to lower your price more and more and more. You have to keep in mind that the person you're bargaining with, it's their income. They have to feed their families with that money. They have to feed themselves, they have to pay the rent. So don't overdo it. I know it's very tempting. If you see a beautiful sarong, you want to get it as cheap as possible. Always make sure that it's still in a respectful way that you do it, that you don't go too low. Number nine is don't use your left hand for giving or accepting things. Throughout Indonesian society, the left hand is used for toilet duties and it's therefore considered unclean. And in Indonesia, it is rude and very offensive to That's hand true. someone something yeah. with your left hand, especially if it's like food or drinks or shake hands with your left hand. So keep this in mind because I made this mistake in my first eight months of living in Bali. I had no idea. I just figured this out a few weeks ago. So make Make sure that you don't do this. Then we have number 10, which is don't just eat Western food. This is for me super important because a lot of people around me are just eating Western food. And I know it's super tempting. If you live in Chengdu or in Ubud, there are so many cool Western restaurants with cool vegan food or with Italian food, whatever you can call it. But it is so nice to try the Indonesian local dishes and you support also the local people with this. And it's so nice. This is the food that you need to try in order to have your full Bali Indonesian. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Another thing you really shouldn't do is come to Bali just for one week. This doesn't make sense at all because this island is so diverse and so beautiful. There is a lot of things to see. The whole island is very different. If you go to West Bali and East Bali or North and South Bali, it is such Whoa. a huge difference. And one week is simply not enough. So make sure you have at least 10 it's or 14 beautiful. days because you will need it. If you are traveling around Bali, don't ignore the Balinese culture. This is very tempting to do because lots of people only go to see beautiful nature, to go to waterfalls or to eat in the most beautiful cafes. But Bali has such a rich culture and it's amazing. I visited the Panglipuan village and this was one of the most authentic experiences I had. And it makes you understand Bali as an island and the Balinese culture so much more. So your Bali trip will be way more special if you include a little bit of Bali cultural. Do not enter temples with your shoes on. It is I've heard about this. It's very disrespectful. Inside. So remember to leave your shoes outside. This is just simply paying your respect and it's an easy thing to do. So make sure you just do this. Yeah. And then last but not least is don't leave your bag out when you are driving home at night. This is simply super dangerous. I've heard stories that this happened many times. It's easy for thieves to just grab your bag and to drive past you. So make sure you put it under your seat where it's safe. No one can get it. And this is what will prevent you from being robbed. So these were my 15 things you shouldn't do in Bali, Indonesia. I really hope you learned something from this and I cannot wait for you to come to Bali because it is such a special Island. you will absolutely love it i hope you have so much fun and i want to say thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to like and subscribe so you can see more bali tips and adventures and i'll see you in my next one guys the video itself this is very very entertaining and very nice and it taught me lots i've never been to indonesia before and i've been to bali in indonesia but uh, i learned something from there i learned something from there 14 tips this is very nice to you Learn before you go there to, to avoid some yeah. errors. So when I'm about to go, now I know what to do and also not what to do. It's very important to watch such videos. And Bali is it's really an amazing place. According to our donors, just book an appointment, like a vacation for a week. Yeah, There are a lot of islands over there. Uh, there are a lot of places you will love to see too. So at least, let's say, three weeks or a month, it's fine. Uh, I would love to visit there. And she said there's a lot of scoops over there. Nice. Not bad. Nice. The place itself is going to be nice. She said try not to eat Western food most of the time. Also try the dishes. And that is really true. Yeah. Because you can't say you visit somewhere and you keep on eating your own dish. 
what what, what do you, is the point you, coming there yeah. if you're going to eat western you, you didn't thing? Try, try something different from what you're usually used to so i get the point of view uh, and it's very very important i understand and i love her part of this when she shared her mistakes with us the left hand giving up something me i find it me something me i find it disrespectful i said the purpose of what she was like people in bali they must use their hand to doing toilets but no matter if you are to give me something to left hand, i find it kind of like disrespectful unless you are left-handed that's kind of like different um because most people are always right-handed and i prefer people giving me things with their right hand instead of their left it's it's just different. Um, I love how the country is. It looks very beautiful. She shows us around Bali. Yeah, it looks very beautiful. Right. I love the islands. I love the resorts. It's very beautiful. And people itself, they have yeah, very good. Kind. Yeah, very homecoming. It's very nice. What do you think? I feel the joy of traveling to another country is to experience that culture and explore the land so mm. if you're to go somewhere and you don't um eat your food go to different places i feel you're missing out so the part about the temple yeah i've heard it a lot that when you're going to a temple you don't go with your shoes on you mm. put it outside so and you're about that one <clears throat> and also the left-handed yeah it's very disrespectful in a lot of traditions so i'm aware of that one and I feel people tend to disrespect um, nicer people. When you're being nice to people, they feel like you're weak or um, they can walk over you. So people tend to disrespect them, which is very rude and so uncultured. And she talked about a lot of things. Yeah. I can't ride a bike, so I'm definitely not going to try that. It's very risky. And I love the fact she talked about the safety, about keeping your bag safe, just mm. because someone can just pass and take it. Because yeah. normally, even when you're holding your phone, someone can just drive and take your phone from oh, behind. Shit. So. When it's at night, even there, just be careful for the rub you because it's a very serious thing. But if I would love to visit here, like, I would really love to see the traditions and the festivals. The outfit they wear was so beautiful. I would love to visit the waterfall, so it was so nice. This was a wonderful video, guys. And I'm planning on going to Indonesia. I would love to visit here and Puja. No, Papua. Papua, yeah. yeah. I love to visit here in Papua. I love Papua very rare and I'm listening to the spirit of Papua, so I really want to see it. So guys, comment down below your first time watching this video. How was your reaction? Give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as can subscribe to the channel, guys. Now I'll do it. See you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all